Hello. This is the statement I wish I had given on August 9th. My why not be a cheerleader for love and hope statement. My name is Nancy Sendler. And I am a brand new 2022 QUF member. Side with love. That's what the t-shirts say side with love. My very first services at QUF were last September's Adrift. Are we there yet? By Reverend Lore. The chalice lighting words were in part, let us remember that we are a part of a great community of seekers. May this dancing flame inspire us to fill our lives with the Unitarian Universalist ideals of love, justice, and sustainability. Sometimes to get to love, we must first change, but change can be uncomfortable, painful, and even terrifying. Still, we are always changing. We already have to embrace change, to learn, to adapt, we do this as individuals and congregations, as well as a country, if we want to grow and be better. Luckily, change brings with it the hope of new opportunities for discovery, friendship, and love. The connectedness we say we so des desperately desire. Does change mean that perhaps we may have to let go of who we thought we were what we believed gave us purpose and made us happy. Yes, often we must shed our old ways of being, thinking, and behaving when they no longer serve us and cause suffering. If former ways fail to bring us closer to a more compassionate, healthier, joyful, and peaceful way of life. I see a QUF community with a fiery passion in our hearts. Members and friends eager to learn and to confront over four centuries of American systemic racism and a white supremacy culture. The historic truths embedded in our institutions, laws, and policies that persist to this very day. But I want to trust that this is a cleansing, rejuvenating fire like Stravinsky's Firebird, a musical mythological phoenix, QUUF can arise from the ashes of what we thought was good enough, just enough, and true enough, and metamorphosize into something far better, a love that does not discriminate, does not oppress, and does not exclude, but instead lifts up every voice including the most vulnerable and victimized members of our society. Let us rejoice, flying unfettered and free, soaring in song, because I believe we can protect the free speech rights of every person, regardless of money and means, power and prestige. We can vote with courage, conviction, and integrity by saying no to these two Alps classes until a compassionate, common sense, and responsible format and form for these discussions can be created. In this way, we can become a far happier, healthier, inclusive, and yes, far freer fellowship. This is my personal challenge, a challenge I make to myself, it is my hope, my aspiration. It is in part why I became a QUF member, to continue on this journey with all of you. Please cast your vote for love. Thank you and shalom.